let me just say, if a vlog doesn't start with me making coffee, then that probably means that I didn't start my day with coffee. And if I didn't start my day with coffee, there wouldn't be a vlog. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, my name is Mac. I post videos on Sundays, and sometimes I post bonus videos on Wednesdays. But today, I'm just bringing you guys um, a vlog to kind of catch up. Big changes have happened lately. Um, I'm like newly single now. I moved. I started university again. And yeah, there's just a lot of stuff going on. And I feel like I've been so go, go, go that I haven't really um, told my YouTube people what's going on. So in today's video, I'm just gonna kind of give you guys updates about like some stuff in my personal life, how school's going, what my life is entailing right now. I think I'm gonna go get a workout in here in a little bit. It is a cloudy day here in Springfield, Missouri. And even though the clouds are in the sky, I'm trying not to let them cover over my mood. I'm like one of those people that if it's sunny out, I feel like I'm gonna have a better day. If it's cloudy, I like feel sad in the morning and I have to like snap myself out of it. But coffee always helps. Let's go ahead and get our day started. I'm gonna finish up this coffee and then I'm probably gonna take you guys to the gym with me because we haven't worked out together in a minute. Okay, I have to show you guys these because I'm just like nerding out over it, but um, my friend sent me a package and got me these Star Wars comics and they are freaking sweet. Check these out. Like, that is so cool. I'm fangirling right now. I'm just losing it a little bit, but it's cool. It's cool. <gasps> I forgot to make breakfast. Okay, you guys, I'm about to hit the gym right now. I needed a quick breakfast, and my go-to breakfast lately has been this Magic Spoon cereal. So I'm gonna talk about them really quick before we get a workout in. Magic Spoon is like cereal reinvented. This is all of your childhood memories, but in an adult-shaped box. Magic Spoon actually sent me their variety box, which comes with four flavors. It comes with the cocoa flavor, the peanut butter flavor, the frosted flavor, and the fruity flavor. And I know what everybody's guessing. Mac, is fruity your favorite? Yes, which is why I ate it all already. Um, today I am munching on the frosted flavor. This stuff is delicious. It literally tastes like cereal from when you were a kid. But again, this feels a little bit more adult appropriate. Other flavors that they have are maple waffle, cookies and cream, and blueberries and cinnamon. So I'm gonna have to give all those a try. My favorite thing about these cereals is that the macros on them are insane. You guys know me, I don't really count calories. I don't really track my macros, but I like to be cognizant of all that. And if I can find a cereal with a little protein in it, I'm absolutely gonna go for that. The macros on these are zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and four grams of net carbs in each serving. Each serving is also only 140 calories, so you can eat many, many bowls of it, and it doesn't really even make a dent. They're also keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, and low-carb. This has been especially awesome for just like right before the gym, if I wake up a little bit late, I need a quick breakfast, I need to get to the gym fast. This has awesome pre-workout macros for me personally, um, and it tastes delicious. It's something that like gets me out of bed a little bit faster because I'm like, it's cereal time. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's one of those things that you taste and you're like, it shouldn't taste that good. Why does it taste that good? Magic Spoon is so confident in its product that it offers a 100% money back guarantee. So if you try it and you don't like it, they will give you a refund for that. If you guys want to go ahead and give Magic Spoon a try, you can use my code MACINJAMI to get $5 off your order. Just click the link down in the description box and you will be able to get your very own Magic Spoon for $5 off. If you guys have had Magic Spoon before or if you think you're going to try it, let me know what flavors you're going to try because... This is my absolute favorite, but I want to know what yours is. Now that we're fueled up, let's hit the gym. Come with me, guys. Okay, so that was awkward. I actually got told that I wasn't allowed to film. Like, they didn't let me take my camera in, which is weird because I filmed in there before. Um, I'm just going to have to be sneakier next time about sneaking it in. But let me get back inside, and then I'll go over really quick uh, what I did today at the gym so that you guys can still get like a general idea of what I did for, more, for my workout. All right, quacks. I'm back in my apartment. So... What's my workout routine been like lately? How am I training? What am I doing with that? Because personally, I'll just say it for myself. My confidence has been great. I feel like I look great. Um, I have the body that I've kind of always wanted to have. You know, I'm toned, as a lot of people like to say. There's no such thing as toning a muscle. You're just building muscle. Anyway, I am loving the way that my body's looking. I'm loving the way that I'm performing. Keep in mind, you guys, you can do whatever you want in the gym, right? Okay, you don't have to... You don't have to have physical goals, but it's okay to have physical goals. But here's what I did today. Demonstrating but without the weights. I did three sets of eight squats. Oh. Yeah, I did. I did four sets of 20 dumbbell walking lunges. Boop, boop, 
boop. And then I did a little bit of agility training. Uh, which is kind of hard to show here. I'm gonna have to take you guys on my next leg dance. But I'm kind of like making up my mind on what I want my next fitness challenge to be. If you guys have any suggestions, feel free to comment them down below. I'm still kind of looking around a little bit, but I think I know the next one that I want to do. So that's kind of a little big change that's going on. But as far as training's going, yeah, it's just going great. I, I feel really good physically. I feel very strong. I'm stronger than I've ever been. Um, and that is a great feeling. If we want to keep the strength, we got to make the lunch. So, let's head to the kitchen and make some lunch really quick. It took like 10 minutes, so not bad. Not bad for a quick 10 minute meal. Lately, I've been loving, you guys saw the vegetables that I just used. It's like a giant like five pound bag of vegetables that I got from Costco. It's been awesome because I don't have to worry about vegetables uh, going bad in my fridge. Obviously, there's some stuff that I'm still gonna buy fresh. Currently, I'm making like a transition into like more frozen stuff because it's just um, easier. I don't have to worry about stuff spoiling and I just like throw it in a pan and cook it. It's like already chopped up, it's already ready to go. So it's been awesome, and especially for like meals like this, which might seem kind of boring, but listen guys, efficiency, this has everything that I need in it. It's got protein, it's got carbs in the rice, it's got veggies, so I'm getting some nutrients, and it's pretty good, actually, so. Okay guys, so I just realized that actually you guys, I don't think you guys have been formally introduced to uh, Cowboy Mac. I'm Cowboy Mac. It's still the same old Mac that you know, but in the cowboy hat, so better. I've been wearing this cowboy hat because it's been a vibe lately, so I guess that's another little life update. I'm kind of embracing this country culture before I potentially, maybe, probably, no spoilers, move to a bigger city uh, after I graduate. I was planning on going out tonight, which is another reason why I have the cowboy hat on, but unfortunately I have, I just have too much work to get done. I don't think I'm gonna be able to take any time off this weekend, which sucks. But that's kind of another little life update. Um, I've had to ditch a lot of social things to get work done lately and it sucks, but I'm proud of myself and I'm working really hard and I know that it'll pay off. But I think I'm at a point right now where I just have to choose what's important to me and work is really important to me right now and toxic positivity is definitely a thing, but I'm in grind season right now, baby. It's grind time for me and I'm just uh, not making excuses for myself and making sure that I'm putting, putting work first right now, but still having fun, but putting work first. I'm gonna go over to Matias. She's going to slave away, cook me dinner while I work on some stuff, and I'll be sure to show you guys what I'm having for dinner. Really? After the dream I had last night, <laughs> you're gonna come knock on my door. What was the dream? Someone came into my door and poisoned me. Oh. I literally told you about this. Let me in. You know the door code. You got a cup you're drinking out of? <laughs> Not done yet. Okay guys, we got the quesadilla. Whenever I make quesadillas, I like to put like beans or like some kind of vegetable in it just so I'm getting like a little bit of veggies. And then God, we gotta add the chicken for the games. Ow. But now I'm gonna eat and edit. And I'm gonna time lapse this, so enjoy watching this time lapse. And I'm eating the same thing as Michaela, but Michaela told me that um it would unconstipate me. <laughs> so if it doesn't, if it doesn't unconstipate me, you got another thing coming. <laughs> Say bye. You're leaving? Yes. So soon? I gotta go to bed. No, you don't. I do. It's only 9.40. Correct.
Okay, bye.